I woke up this morning to the boat having more technical difficulties. For the third time in 2023, the boat has some kind of problem this time. It's an electrical problem with the trolling motor, like the plug where I plug the motor in is no longer working. It's an old plug, it's had corrosion before. So it's not totally surprising, it just sucks. It's gonna take about a week to get some new parts in. So because of that, we are back out doing some more pond fishing for not the second weekend in a row, but like, like we've had two weekends like within this month where we've gone pond fishing because the boat is <laughs> has something wrong with it. That being said, the pond behind me is a very, very good pond, but I do not know how it's going to fish today. We just got done with one of the most historic freezes in Austin, Texas history. As I was showing some of the B-roll shots, our trees just destroyed everywhere. The water is freezing, freezing cold. And these fish, while they are aggressive, while they do bite well, and I catch a lot of them, especially during the summer months, I have no idea how they're going to eat today. That being said, there are a lot of big fish in here. So I think as long as we really slow down properly and throw the right stuff, we might still be able to get on some fish. I really don't know how today's gonna go. We only have about two and a half hours, but also have all week. So this is a video that could span across the entire week of just pond hopping. Don't really know where it's going to go, but all I know is we're out here. It's nice and warm now, finally. The weather's nice. Hopefully the fishing will start to pick back up. With that guys, we're gonna get a rod in hand and start fishing here today and hopefully get on some nice pond bass in today's video. Oh my gosh, holy cow, that's a giant, let's go! I'll see you later, girl. Oh my god, monster, freaking tank, tank, holy cow, absolute tank, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, come here, come here fish, dude, what, what a freaking tank. First fish on the day. Holy cow, this pond has some giants in it, but that, that's a big one. Holy cow, that's a freaking tank. Look at that little drop shot, just gone. That right there proves that you don't need a massive lure, or massive bait to catch big fish. Holy cow, it's probably a four and a half, five pounder. I didn't mention it to the camera, but I actually saw some really nice fish swimming around right over by those reeds when I was getting my swim bait unhooked and I quickly turned the camera off and ran back over here, grab another rod, try and catch them. Guarantee you this is one of the fish. This is right on the area that I thought they swam off to. It's gotta be at least a four pounder. I mean, it doesn't have the body to be a four pounder. It's just so fat. It's definitely going fours. Four, two, eight. I don't know if you guys see that there, but just over four pounder. It's really funny. That's already my third fish of 2023. That's gone between four, two and four, four. Caught a lot of fours, low fours so far this year. God, what a stud. Alrighty, girl, thank you for biting. Man, that water is frigid. The shoe's ready to go. That water temp has to be low, low 50s. I mean, that, it's freezing cold. It does not matter. Just trying some of the bigger usual lures I use here, switched up to just a little tiny micro drop shot. We get it done. This is one of those Berkeley Powerbait Flatworms. I've heard so many great things about these as drop shot lures. I've actually never tried one until today. <laughs> and there you have it, man. First fish on one is a 4-2. That's insane, my God. All right, well, for today's little lining, one bite is all we got, but hey, man, it was one hell of a bite. Four pound, two ounce fish, certainly take it. This video is certainly far from over though, as it's just one little afternoon of fishing. I will have all week to be able to fish after school, so I think that is what we're going to do. This will be the start of another video, searching for a double digit. You know what? We're only six pounds away, so. <laughs> I'll be back out here hopefully tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday afternoon, it's currently Sunday, and. We'll see where it goes from here.
All right, how's it going guys? It's a couple of days later. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm standing in my car doorway like this. It's because it is so windy outside right now that my microphone cannot even run outside. It's just cutting out because how strong the wind is. That's gonna be pretty horrific for the GoPro audio, unfortunately, and there's just nothing I can do about it right now. I can't do anything about it until I can actually afford a good uh, chest mount mic, so. Really nothing we can do, we're just gonna deal with the elements. It's supposed to get a little less windy as the day goes on. But it's a few days later now, we are not fishing a pond today. We are going to be back out on Lake Travis. We already have one really nice fish to our credit. Start this video off of at that pond earlier in the week. But now I spent the last few days really working on the bow and it took me probably about eight hours in total, but I got all the electrical working done. That was wrong. I had a bunch of stuff I had to replace and change out because it was old and broken. Everything seems to be good now. We'll test that out here today. Maybe it's not, but I'm assuming it should be. So we should be in for a good afternoon and evening of fishing. All right, first spot we're moving to is actually going to be a spot that I have not fished in a minute. Just due to it being so windy right now, we're not going to fish anything in the main lake. Probably until later tonight when the wind dies down some. It is supposed to die down, but right now out in the main lake, it's right around about over 20 miles an hour. I mean, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, that's not happening. So I'm gonna come back here and fish this cove. I've not fished back in this cove in a long time, man. I've caught some fish here before, caught a couple decent ones even, but with the water getting so much lower since the last time I've seen it, honestly, I have no idea how it's gonna fish. This afternoon, we're gonna be focusing on fishing all coves. So I thought I might as well start here. Both the other two fishermen that were out here actually got back to the boat ramp right as I was leaving and I talked to them and <laughs> Both did not have very positive things to say about how the lake was fishing today. They both did not have hardly any success, but that being said, I'm not too deterred because I've had people tell me they got skunked out here before and I've gone out and caught over 50 fish. So I'll take it with a grain of salt. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing out here. Oh my gosh. I was going to say that bite was absolutely tiny. <laughs> It's about the smallest little bite you'll ever get. The thing that's sad, this isn't even a guad, this is a largemouth. Absolute toad for our first fish of the day. So funny. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Happy to be on the board already, but let's definitely hope to get a little bit bigger than that. Eh, I have to imagine we're gonna catch a few bass bigger than that today though, so should be all right. Alrighty, spot number two. We've caught a lot of fish the last few times we've been through this cove, so we're looking to do the same obviously here today there's a fish there we go is that a quad yo that's a quad massive quad holy cow for you guys you guys are not from texas Guadalupe bass is a native fish here. It's the state fish actually. And these guys do not get real big. This is a big one. It's probably only a pound and a half or a bit. Man, that's a big one. That's sick, man. I was just thinking about it. I was like, I take that cast there and then I didn't feel anything. And literally there was just no pressure on my line at all. And that was because this guy picked it up and started swimming off with it. You catch a lot of these guys out here, but man, they're not very big normally. It's rare to see one over a pound. See you later, pal. Another bite, back to back cast. Yes. Let's go, dude. Back to back cast. We're right by the boat, and this little stick up here. This time, just a little largey, but sick, dude. Back to back cast. Fish number three. Later, pal. Oh my gosh. Fish grabbed it right underneath the boat. I mean, directly underneath the boat. <laughs> They're eating it close to the boat. I mean, that was the definition of close to the boat. He ate it underneath the boat. Number four, nothing huge yet. We're picking them off pretty good. Heck, as the boat ramp, so they had a tough day. We've been out here for 30 minutes. We already have four. Number four. All right, well, the net rig is working great. We already have four fish on it, but I'm just itching to try this drop shot out here. It's the exact same drop shot I caught that first fish of the video on, the four pounder, so. Been dying to try it out here. There we go. 
as I was putting her in spot lock. Picked off another one, another quad. First fish to fall victim to the drop shot. Thanks pal, see you later bud. Nice fish. God, that's a lot more solid fish than I even thought it was. I was legit just playing with them. <laughs> that's a little chunky dude though. That's a solid two pounder, I'd say. Look at that chunky fish there. Number six. Yeah, I would definitely say the drop shot is not a slowdown at all from the net rig. What, we've been fishing it for five minutes now? Two fish already. So sick. See you later, friend. Yep, I think it's safe to say I found my new one two punch when it comes to slowing things down out here the drop shot is just as good as the net rig it is freaking sticking them man six fish already I'm telling you guys whenever the people at the ramp say they did they did bad or they couldn't figure it out we always come out here and just crush it i don't know what it is i don't know if they're just lying to me or i just got to figure it out a little better but we're on them so far i mean the conditions are rough it is freezing cold it's windy i mean the pressure is really high the conditions do not make for good fishing but hell we already got six so we're on them right now this spot up here has been insane as of late but with the wind it might be a little tough to fish Let's see what we can do Is that a fish? I bet that is a fish. And it's a white bass. <laughs> God, that's funny, dude. Not a white bass I catch over here. We're very close to the light where I catch these fish at night, and it just so happens when you come and fish over here, especially towards the you know time when it's getting close to evening, you tend to catch a lot of these guys in this area. They're getting ready to stage up on the lights, and. Here's our first one tonight. We will definitely catch plenty more. That is for sure. Fish number seven. See you later, bud. There's a fish. There we go. Another good one. Good, Largy. This fish was so lightly colored, I almost thought I had a quad at first. And I was like, oh my God, that's a freaking lake record quad. <laughs> there is one, but it's not a large one. So I just shot at two pounds. Sorry, bud. Alrighty folks, it has officially gotten fully dark outside and we are approaching our first light. Starting off a little swim bait. Man, this is strange. I've never, never seen it here before without a ton of fish on it. I don't, I don't see one. And trust me, you know when they're here. I mean, they bite right away, and you see them. Dude, you're kind of kidding me. <laughs> we got it. Yes. Oh, there's some big ass spiders underneath here. Jesus. Yes. <sighs> I didn't catch a single fish off this live. That's a freaking victory right there. Oh my God. That had to have been absolutely hilarious to watch. I got my lure. I skipped it back underneath there. It ricocheted off the water and went straight into the boat prop. Couldn't get it off though because it was wrapped up and I had to get underneath the freaking boat cover in order to get it and that was a hell of a challenge everything i got on here but and i'm bummed because there's no fish in this light for the first time ever so i guess we're heading the new one all right this is my last shot right here if this light has fish on it then we'll stick it out just a little bit longer if it doesn't we're going home there we go finally Gosh. 
There we go. That's a nice size fish. Yes, we got one. We finally found a light with a fish on it. Look at that. Yes. Yes, sir. See you later, buddy. Thank you. I mean, it's just so uncharacteristic. These lights not have any fish on them. The first three, nothing. Find a green light. Finally got a fish. Who knows, we'll get any more, but I'm happy we at least caught one. That was a great fight, too. There's a fish. There we go. Another one. Yes, sir. Is that a largey? I think it is. That is a largey. Nice largey. <clears throat> there we go. Solid largemouth. Tent fish in the day. So I'm gonna get you guys a little better view of this tail here. That is just wild looking. Thank you, girl. I'll see you later. Well, thank goodness. Looks like we finally have found some fish. But quite frankly, if you ask me why they weren't on the other lights, I can't tell you. I really can't. I mean, I guess maybe just because of bait, there wasn't really hardly any bait in the other lights. There seems to be a little more on this one. Like I'm seeing a good amount of them. So I guess that has to do with it. Regardless, I'm glad we at least found some here. I have another one on too. Nice, nice eat. Holy cow. Whoa, 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 what do I got? What in the world do I have? Is it just a white vest? Yeah, it's just a white vest. That was weird. It was fighting super, super strange. And we finally found him. Hell yes. Sweet, dude, that's so awesome. All right, we are back in the garage. As you can see, it is the next morning and we are going back out and doing some more fishing again here today. I really did not feel like filming another intro, so we're just sticking to the same video uh, I was filming last night. I do apologize, this video has been all over the place at this point, but we're heading back out to Lake Travis and we're going to be doing some fishing in some brand new spots, just trying to find some new things today. I've been fishing the same spots a lot recently and today my whole goal and focus is to try and find some new ones. It's still very cold and windy outside due to the front that moved in yesterday, but I don't think it should matter all all that much just due to the fact that this lake is absolutely insane so today's main mission find some new spots go on as many fish as possible and have a great time while doing so so with that we're gonna head back out to the lake and start i guess now will be our third different segment of this video all righty like i talked about in the intro these are all new spots that we are fishing today so everything is kind of an unknown for right now at least Let's see what kind of success we can have we have about probably three and a half hours till the sun goes down so we'll give these new spots probably about two hours to produce if they don't produce we'll go back to where i'm comfortable fishing and pick off some fish where it's it dark but right now i'm trying to expand my horizons and find some new spots There's a fish. Is camera even on? Okay, good, it is on. There we go. Buddy's fighting hard, man. He's ain't that big. There we go. First cast of a brand new spot. We got a fish. Good grief. He's got some black lipstick on him. On her, I should say. There we are. First fish of the afternoon. First cove was a bust. Nothing going on. Very first cast though, on this new bank on the main lake. I got a fish. Buddy came in about 20 feet of water. That's sick, man. I'll see you later, fish. I won't lie, I was kind of pissed at myself driving over to the second spot because the first spot I really thought was gonna pan out pretty well, looked really good, and I just couldn't get anything going there. I was just like, gosh darn it, dude, you really just waste all your time coming over to the side of the lake when I could have gone to my good spots and I've already gotten on fish. But that's a nice right there very first cast is brand new spot it's positive about it out makes me feel a little better about this decision to try and find some new water all right just that one fish in the spot i mean at least it came through but nothing after that first one i caught the first cast here well the new spot experiment officially over we did catch at least one fish but i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty pissed at myself i feel like i should have done a lot better than i did you know i don't have a ton of time it's like an hour and a half it wasn't like i was there for a 
really long time. Sometimes it just takes a little longer than that to find fish. But yeah, definitely feel like I should have done better than I did. It's all right. So now we're back at a place that I'm very, very comfortable with. So from now on, we should be able to catch plenty of fish. Come on. Oh, come on, fish. Come on. All right, there are fish. Got ourselves one. It's been a really tough day. This light's not fishing the way it normally does, but I had been hit a few times before this guy, so I knew there were some fish here. But he's all coiled up. There we are. Little white bass. See you, friend. There's tons of fish blowing up up here. Holy cow. There's, there's so many fish on this light. God, dude, that's a big largemouth. What? Dude, what? Look at that. That's a stud. Look at that. It's a freaking stud, dude. Third fish on the day. We haven't caught many, but that is a really, really solid one. Oh, that's dead. Three pounds on out. Freaking stud, I'll see you later, dude. This is so awesome, dude. I've not been seeing like there's hardly any action. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this thing is so fat. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the fattest white bass I've ever seen in my life. Look at how fat that white bass is. And it is a white bass. Alright, let's come back. Go. I see it, Bob. Oh, God. Largy. That was, I, I mean, there's no way the camera saw it, but that was the craziest jump I've ever seen. Dude literally pirouetted his entire body out of the water when it came up. Not as big as the last largemouth, but good fight, Bob. Really good eat as well. See, Bob. I knew there'd be something, man. There we go. Got him that time. Largey, it looks like. Just needed the right lure to hook him. They bit the spoon, but I think it might be a little too big for them. So send down the swim bait. We got it that time. Vertically jigging a swim bait <laughs> produces this solid pound and a half largemouth. Sweet. See you later, man. All right, there's a good enough fish over here. Picked up right away. I don't know what this is. It feels good. Nice. Is that a hybrid? Yeah, I think so. It's another nice, nice white bass. It's a hybrid. Hell yeah, dude. No, that's a white bass. Damn. It's a big white bass, bro. Number seven on the evening. See you later, bud. I got another one. I literally ate it the second I hit the water. Oh, followers, followers. Come on. It's a good sized fish, too. Oh my god, that's a massive hybrid. Holy cow, dude. Jesus. Dude, is that a white bass? This might be a white bass. Holy hell. If this is a white bass, it's my PV. 
Holy hell, this might be my, my, my PB white bass. Dude, this thing is massive. If this is a white bass, this could be the like record, honestly. The like record's like two eight, like two five, two eight, I think. Two pounds, six ounces. If this is not a like record, it's sure as hell close to being one. You know, I feel like most people would probably take this fish in, eat it, you know, and potentially get it registered as a state record, but I don't want to kill it, man. It's a big, beautiful fish. Serves to go live. One tongue patch. That does not look to be split. That is a two pound, six ounce white bass. Just massive. Humongous fish, probably close to lake record. There it goes. I'm sure that probably bothers most people that let a white bass go that's that big, but I don't like killing them. I'm big on catch and release. Oh, there's one, there's one. Got him. Came out and crushed it. <laughs> that's so sweet, dude. Yes, sir. I mean, golly, look at the size of these fish, dude. Another giant, not as big as the last one, but still really good size. See you later, bud. I think that was not, yeah, one away from double digits. There we go. Come on, stay on. God, this one's pulling too. God, just look at the size of these, dude. These are absolute mega white bass. <laughs> these are just true Texas brutes right here. Over two pound white bass consistently off this dock. It's just crazy. There we go. Changed it up to the swim bait. We got a fish. Fatty. Well, big camera was not on for that one. You saw on the chest cam at least, but chest cam is definitely not a great view to watch this from right now when it being so dark. There we go. Smoked it. I'm not sure there's a white bash because how it's jumping. Man, I'll get this on later. Nope, it is another just freaking giant. It's just crazy. All right, so update on the white bass record. Man, so I checked the pictures. That was for sure a white bass and only had one tongue patch in it. It weighed two pounds, six ounces. The lake record is two pounds, nine ounces, man. I missed it by three ounces. That lake record is held since February 14th of 2005. We're coming up on the 18th year anniversary of that record. That's crazy. Yep, I was three ounces off. Darn it, man. That's still pretty sick though. Unbelievable white bass, without a doubt my PB.